Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. It is time for another haul. I have not filmed a haul in a minute, and I literally have had products just sitting, waiting for me to show you guys, waiting for me to use, because I usually like to show you guys stuff before I actually use it, if that makes any sense. So, I have a basket of stuff that I want to show you that I recently picked up from Ulta and Sephora, and we're just going to get right into it. Before we do, I would love to have you join the family if this is your first time watching, so please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do a little bit of everything on this channel, a lot of beauty content. We do hair, nails, makeup, hauls, tutorials, all of it, a little bit of fitness, so yeah, a lot of stuff for you to watch. I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you want to see what I picked up in my recent Ulta and Sephora haul, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So we have a nice little mixture of stuff in this basket right here. This is the stuff that I picked up and some of it is more drugstore affordable products and then I have other stuff that is high end. So not gonna go in any order, just gonna try to keep it separate, show you Ulta first and then Sephora. So one of the first things I picked up from Ulta, I had this in my cart for a while and then I finally got a 20% off coupon. Again, I try to only buy stuff when it's on sale because I don't need any of this stuff. Um, this is the, I don't know how you pronounce this, Weedad, O-U-I-D-A-D, whatever. This is their Bye Bye Breakage Strengthening and Thickening Serum. I've told you guys, as far as my hair goes, I treat my hair like it's damaged. So I'm always looking for products to keep my hair healthy, to rebuild, to restore. I chemically relax my hair and I try to wash it um, once a week and I try to only put heat on it once, maybe twice a week. So any products that will help with strengthening, help with growth. This is probably the longest my hair has been in quite a while and it's pretty healthy. I need a trim, but other than that, I just wanted to try this because it had, oh, it says for all curl types. Well, I don't have curly hair. Whatever, I'm still gonna use it. It says it helps with restoring thickness and vitality to limp, to limp, weak, or damaged strands. Helps protect against breakage, hair fall, and excessive shedding. So yeah, I want help with all that, so I picked this up. The next thing I got is also another hair product. This is the, what brand is this? OGX Coconut Miracle Oil Dry Shampoo. This is extra strength formula, and I think I have a small bottle of this, and I absolutely love it. It looks different though. The small bottle I have is like blue at the top and gold at the bottom, so I'm hoping this is the same because I love that one, and it's not too much of a white cast, but either way, like I said, washing once a week, I can't stand for my hair to stink. It does sweat when I'm in the gym, so I want something that's going to help refresh it, but also make it not be oily. I don't like the ones that add a lot of texture to your hair because then my hair just kind of feels like I don't know like it has it's not bouncy it's not it doesn't move like it just feels really stiff so I'm hoping that this doesn't do that it doesn't say anything about texturizing though so hopefully it's good I want to smell this though Ooh, that does smell good. It smells coconutty. We have another hair product. This is the Biolage All-in-One Intense Dry Shampoo. This one says it has rice starch and it says multi-benefit oil absorber, deep cleanser, primer. I think too, I was also looking for a dry shampoo to use on my wigs. And the OGX one is more in inexpensive than the Biolage, but um, as far as like if you get a wig that is really shiny and that if you use dry shampoo, it helps to take the shininess off of the wig so it doesn't look as fake. So this is gonna be for my hair. This one will be my hair and probably wigs. I think this is the last hair product. This is also from Ulta. This one had been sitting in my cart and I think this one was on sale plus the 20% off. This is the Dry Bar Liquid Glass Miracle Smoothing Sealant. It says it lasts through three washes. 
this had really good reviews. It says it's the ultimate frizz fried, oh Lord, ultimate frizz fighter. Heat activated technology wraps an invisible shield around each strand to provide frizz resistance, leaves a super glossy, silky finish without weighing hair down, protects against heat up to 450 degrees, and lasts, lasts through three washes. What's wrong with me? Always looking for heat protectants. And I do want something that's gonna help to protect my hair, but not weigh it down. So I just, I like how this sound, but hopefully it works and is as good as it claims to be. Next from Ulta, we're getting into the makeup products. I bought this, I think I got this for free actually. This was a free gift. This is the Beauty Blender, Blender Cleanser Solid in Lavender. I've never bought the Beauty Blender brand. I buy the one from Sephora and that one works really well. That one's one of my favorites. But um, yeah, this was a free gift. I didn't pay for this one. So maybe I got this from, I don't know where I got this from. I don't know if Ulta has Beauty Blender. I feel like they don't. So maybe this was from Sephora, but either way, it was a free gift. Next, I picked up the Lorac Petite Pro Contour Palette. This, Honestly, I just said I was not buying any more face palettes, but I probably bought this one first and just hadn't showed you guys. Um, it says sculpt high and highlight like a pro. I think I just haven't really seen a lot from Lorac lately. So when I saw this, I was curious. These shades are definitely dark enough. So there's a banana shade here, then this kind of, I don't know, that's not a bronzer for me. That's more like my it's too dark for a highlight. I guess you would blend your highlight and your contour maybe with that and then that's the contour. Go ahead and, ooh, these are very, very powdery, very soft. So that's the three shades there. There we go. Um, yeah, that contour shade is definitely gonna work. These are definitely very powdery though. So something to keep in mind, but that's the three shades there. I think this would actually, this might actually go in my travel bag. I don't know. I have to see how it fits because it's a little bigger than what I normally carry, but I like the shades of this better than what I have in there. So I'll have to see. The next thing I picked up is this Benefit Professional Super Setter Steel. This is actually two of the professional setting sprays and it was $42, $64 value. And then I did get this with the 20% off as well. I've heard good things about this. I'm always buying setting sprays. I use them every single day. And during the summer, I use them first. And then I use them when I put my foundation down. And then I use it again on top of everything to seal everything in just to make my makeup last longer. So your girl goes through some setting sprays. Now, granted, I have too many bottles. And the Urban Decay All Nighter is my all-time favorite. I do like the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, airbrush, flawless, finish, setting spray. And then I did buy the Huda Beauty one, but I've never really, I don't think I've used it yet. And I bought that a long time ago. So I probably need to try that, but I'm always looking, oh, I like the mister. My fan is on, so this is probably not gonna, oh, I really like this mister. Very fine, says locks on makeup, softens the look of pores and feels lightweight yeah i like the mister on this one and if it works well this will be right on up there with my urban decay i finally picked up the first aid beauty kp bumpy racer body scrub i've been wanting to pick this up and i refused to pick it up full price so i did get it with my 20 percent off i've been having a little bit of bumpiness here on my arms and then the back of my legs were always a problem. I just recently got laser hair removal done though, and my legs are so much smoother already. But I'm still gonna use this. Great for exfoliation and also helping with, I forgot what it's called in real life. It's like something Polaris. I'll put it on the screen, but yeah, it's supposed to help with any scaly areas, bumps or roughness or texture on your skin. So this has glycolic and lactic acid and it's 10%, yeah, 10% AHA and it's safe for sensitive skin. So looking forward to using this and seeing if it makes a difference. Up next, still at Ulta, I picked up the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I used a whole bottle, a whole jar of this. And when I ran out or was getting close to the end, 
I bought the Honey Shade. And it's okay, but I just don't feel like it gives me enough brightness. Like right now, I don't feel like I have enough brightness. I use my Nakia Joy this morning when I got ready for work at six o'clock. It is currently four o'clock and my face still looks like this. I haven't had to touch up, haven't had to blot. Something is breaking me out. Um, I feel like I look a little, little tiny shiny right here, but that also may be, I use my Beauty Bakery face palette. I forgot the name of it, but I've been using that a lot lately. That's my contour blush and my highlight today. So anyway, I love this powder. I think that this shade works really well for how I like my makeup to be. So when I had a chance to get it, I figured might as well re-up. I'm gonna use the banana one too, or the honey one, but I wanted to have this one as well. This next product, I feel like I might've got it either. It was on sale and I got the 20%. I think that's what it was. This is the Grande Mascara Conditioning Peptide Mascara in Rich Black. I love the Grande products as far as the brow serum and the lash serum. And so I was like, well, if you're using the lash serum to help your lashes grow and they have a mascara that's gonna help two for one. So I don't know in terms of the formula of the mascara, if it's any good, anything like that. I hope it is, but if it's gonna help my lashes grow, then I can maybe use this one on days when I'm not doing really like big, bold makeup looks and just want my lashes to have something on them if this doesn't give me a lot of length or a lot of volume, but hopefully it works well, we'll see. I realize I only have like four or five things from Sephora, so that part's gonna go quick. I finally grabbed, this is also something that has been sitting in my cart forever. This is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Vibes Avocado Toast Palette. Y'all know why I got it, because it's green. We know Barbara and her greens. I just, I heard really good reviews and the colors in here. This is so gorgeous to me. Absolutely beautiful. I love the holographic packaging. And then this shade is actually a really dark greenish kind of gray. I don't know if the color's picking up right with the background of the palette, but then these greens, there's so many different shades of greens. Of course you have the browns. And I just think this is a really nice, it's an everyday palette for me could easily be, has a nice big mirror, but I just think these shades are beautiful. So finally picked that up and excited to have this one in my collection of greens. Another product that I got from, from Ulta for free, for whatever reason, I don't even know what I bought, but they were giving away Kylie Cosmetics um, concealer. So I did pick up another one of those. I love that concealer. And I have the shade Sesame, I believe. I think that's the one I normally buy, but I decided to get Cedar just because I think this one is a little more brightening. I know they um, are repackaging. Yeah, it looks fine. This one looks a little more neutral. I feel like Sesame was maybe a little more golden, but I just wanted to try a different shade of it because I love the formula of this one. So hopefully this is gonna be bright enough. It does have a little bit more of a pinky beige undertone though, so. We will see. I have two shades of the KKW Cream Lipsticks. These were 50% off. They were getting rid of her stuff in Ulta as well. So I was like, well, let's see what these look like. I picked up the shades Classic Icon and Nude 6. I hope they're not too similar. These, first of all, I love the packaging of these. I think this is so cute. And this would look gorgeous on my vanity in my little acrylic cases. Let's see. So this one is nude six. Definitely a nude, kind of a brownish. Excuse my ashy hands that I washed. Oh, that's not really brown. Oh, I like that. So that's the shade there. Very wearable everyday nude shade. This is like something I could put on not even needing a mirror. And then this next one is a matte. This is Classic Icon 1. Is that what I said? Yeah. This looks really weird in the tube. I know I've had this sitting for a while. I don't know if my room is just warm, but like, look at the side of that, how that looks kind of messed up. And it looks like it's melting. Yeah, see this one's more, okay good. These shades are not too similar. So that's Classic Icon 1 and that's Nude 6. 
both very creamy formulas. This one looks more matte, but when I swatched it, it's definitely creamy. It says cream, so that's right. But I hadn't tried any of her lipsticks. I've heard good things about them, and y'all know if I can get it on sale, that's how I prefer. I'm so disappointed in myself because one of these products, this next product, I ran to Ulta to get it as soon as it came out, and I was gonna do a review when it was trending, and then I forgot. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind Instant Age Perfector, the four-in-one glow. I picked this up because y'all know I love the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And I think I have mine in the shade six, I believe. And this is supposed to be kind of like a dupe for that. So I wanted to do a comparison and I just, I, I slept on it. I know not a lot of people are talking about this anymore. I got shade zero two medium. And this would be something that I wore under my makeup. I would not wear this by itself. Comment below and let me know if you still wanna see a video comparison on this. I actually have a few products that I think are very good dupes of the Charlotte Tilbury. And so I've been talking about doing that video and I just haven't done it yet. But if you guys wanna see that, I can do that as well. Because the Charlotte Tilbury is like $45 or something like that. And I realize not everybody wants to spend that much money on one product. So if you can find something that does the same thing, and doesn't cost as much, obviously you would wanna do that. So I'm gonna see if I can swatch this real quick. I feel like it's gonna take forever to come out the tube. But it still has the same kind of packaging like the um, Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, which I also love. Yeah, so that is what it looks like right there. You can see there's a little bit of a glow to it. Yeah, that is very similar in shade to my Charlotte Tilbury. Let me grab that real quick and show you guys. Yeah, let's see. I think the Charlotte might, yeah, the Charlotte might be a little bit deeper and a, a little more gold. I wipe the lipstick off so I can put it right next to it. Okay, yeah, so Charlotte's deeper. I actually wanted to get shade three instead of shade two, but I don't think they had it in the store. And psh, as long as I've had this, it's probably too late to bring it back. So. This is the Maybelline, and then this is Charlotte on this side. Not bad though, the shade's not too far off, but yeah, this one's a little more light, more golden. This one's a little more bronze. All right, two more products from Ulta, and then we'll move on to the Sephora items. I picked up one of the e.l.f. Putty Bronzers. I picked this up when it first came out, so that's how long this has been sitting. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, I pick up. I picked up the shade Sun Kissed. I was gonna try to order from their website when they first came out, but I just had a lot of trouble figuring out the colors, so I kind of just went by what I saw on other reviews. This is what the shade looks like. It looks pretty deep. This feels very oily. I don't know if I was. This doesn't feel like a putty. This feels like a cream, like oily kind of. So that's what the shade looks like there. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this because I feel like, well, maybe it'll dry down. That is what the shade looks like. Spread out a little bit, blend it out. It just feels very oily. Maybe when it dries down, it won't be that bad, but I feel like you would have to be careful putting it on your face because I feel like it could get muddy very quickly. But being that it's a bronzer, maybe that's not that bad because blending it out you can be a little messier as opposed to just using it as a contour and wanting it to stay in a certain place and it move too much so i'm gonna keep this on my hand and see how it dries down but first impression that that's a lot slicker than i expected it to be last thing i picked up from ulta this is i i eyeball stuff all the time so i'm gonna keep saying that this whole video something else i've been eyeballing i picked up this palette i don't have any buxom eyeshadows and this color story honestly speaks to me. This is the Buxom Times Ash Comb, which I'm sorry, I have no idea who that is, but they made a pretty palette. This is what the packaging looks like, which I think is really cute, sleek. And then these are the shades. I think these shades are so pretty. Like it's like, this could be an everyday wearable palette, but then the pops of color kind of make it a little different and I love the pinks and the purples so you know I'm gonna swatch this blue Scorpio 
Major, that's about what I expected. Dynasty. I want to swatch Royalty too, just to see. So those are the four shades there. There we go. Those are the four shades there. And then, can I swatch these? Let's see. Ooh, okay. That matte definitely swatched better than I expected it to. These shades are pretty. Interesting. Okay, I thought that matte was going to be a little more chalky. I didn't expect it to stick that well. So that is definitely a good thing. I'm going to probably put this in my bathroom and try this out for the next couple days just to get an opinion about it so I can let you guys know. But first impression as far as swatches, which we know don't tell the whole story, pretty impressed. All right, so now we're moving into the few items that I got from Sephora. I had, I bought these because, what did I bring back? I brought something back, I think. Either brought something back or I might have had, I cashed in points, I don't know, but I was just randomly shopping. Um, this is, I got a small sample of the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. This is the Blurring Primer. I don't know if I've tried a Laura Mercier Primer. I don't think I have. And I think I saw that this one had really good reviews. I don't know if this is new or not. I have no idea. I just saw that they had a small size. So I like that they give this option because I have enough primers, but I always still am looking for like the latest, greatest, newest, bestest, whatever. So I just wanted to try this. It says Pro Canvas Prime, Pure Canvas Primer. I also, thanks to Babs Beauty, picked up the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip plumping line smoothing gloss she has been raving about these how great they are she has every single shade of them i was going to get the clear but i rarely ever wear a clear gloss so i picked up the shade velvet which is still a little new but it has a slight hint of pink to it let's see so it didn't do much to change the color. I also wanted to see if this was going to be like tingly like the Buxom ones. Oh, but I like how that feels. And I do feel like that kind of smoothed out. Okay, I do feel a tingle. I do feel like that looks like it kind of smoothed out my lips a little bit. Oh, Lord. I don't want to get addicted to these. This is, I feel like, kind of expensive for a gloss, but... I like how that looks. I feel like my lips look a little bigger. Am I tripping? <laughs> Y'all let me know in the comments, am I tripping? But I don't know. Hmm, okay. This is gonna go in my purse. The next thing I picked up is the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Matte. This is the waterproof matte liquid pigment. It says you can use on your eye, lips, or cheeks. I picked up the shade Desert Rose. I did swatch these in the store. And this was really the only one that I was like, ooh, this color is so pretty. This is what it looks like here. This is like, I could see, I could see myself using this on my eyes, on my cheeks, on my lips. So I felt like this color made the most sense. Oh, wow, that is a lot of pigment. I put way too much. That is so pretty. Wow. We're just doing everything today. That is a gorgeous shade. And I could definitely see myself using this on my cheeks. And that would be a gorgeous, like, all over the lid. I might have to do a video just using this and see how much use I could get and do a nice little monochromatic look for you guys. So be on the lookout for that. The last thing, and I saved the best for last because I have talked about this. I have looked at this, I have swatched this, and I keep, no, 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 yes. I've heard so many people talk about this Artist Couture Supreme Nudes eyeshadow palette, and I got FOMO. I ain't even gonna lie. I got tired of swatching it and looking at it and being like, but I kinda wanna use it. I wanna see what the hype is. I love the packaging, how sleek this is. And these colors, this is like perfect everyday wearable colors. Oh man, mine's kind of dirty. But y'all have seen this palette. This is nothing new. But listen, 
green, gold, browns. You could do everyday neutrals. I'm sure I'm going to swatch a little bit for you guys, although I'm sure you've seen this. Of course, I want to swatch supreme green. I want to see what opulence looks like, the gold. I'm going to swatch the darkest brown mink. Ooh, that's really dark. And let's go ahead and look at lavish. So those are the four shades there. Come on, camera. And then I'll swatch them. Oh yeah, that green is beautiful. Ooh, opulence is pretty. That brown is dark. Okay. And I've swatched this, so I know, but it's still just like right now is first time again, and I think these are beautiful. So glad to finally have it. I can stop thinking about it and feeling like I'm missing out. And we're gonna end this video, but quick little update. This bronzer has dried down, so this is not moving anymore. It feels like a powder. And then this Danessa Myricks has pretty much also dried down as well. There's not much coming off on my finger. Maybe a little bit, but yeah, these are both dry down to a matte and feel like they're gonna be long lasting. So I'm happy about that. All right, well, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Y'all seem to love haul videos. That's also my favorite thing to watch. I wanna see what people are buying, what they're spending their money on, and if I need to spend my money on it too, if they say it's good. So hopefully, if you don't have these products, if you were thinking about them, maybe seeing it, maybe seeing the swatches or my initial impressions might make you decide you wanna get it or make you happy you skipped out on it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, if it's your first time here, join the family, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.